It's just after half seven in the morning. I'm in pain all over. It rained all night, quite heavy as well actually. Surprised nothing's soaking in here. And I didn't get much sleep. Probably got about five hours. Which I guess is okay. I'm dreading getting it started here. Well, it's 10 miles to Newton Moore, which is where my niece lives. So I'm gonna get there, get a few things charged up, and uh, I'll continue. It's only day two. I haven't even started it yet. That's me, wrapped up the tent. Leave no trace behind. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Not a bad place to, to camp out, apart from mosquitoes which are everywhere. Right, day two, let's go. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Okay, so, just like you more I'm on a cycle path, you can see. I had to stop for a couple of hours. My back and my shoulders are in bits with this bag. Definitely don't recommend this bag for fast parking, running. No way, no way. Anyway, got a couple of sponges, kind of modified it. Got my flat belt, put some towels in it. And it uh, seems to be holding out quite well now. So I'm off again, I've got 26.2 miles to go. To my next stop, which is the Larry Grew. It's also started raining, which uh, is actually quite nice. So I'm not overheating. Not like yesterday, yesterday was really warm. So quite happy. Uh, legs are a little bit sore. Uh, back of my knee, side of my knees a lot bit sore. Um, but yeah, right. just keep trucking, keep going. All right, that's my news. Me at the Larry Grew at the Boulder Field. Thirty, no, yeah, thirty-two miles, and I'm almost there. I think I've got about four miles to go, but this is tough going, especially after running all that time. Never mind, almost there. That's probably the hardest part of the whole, whole run. Yes. So anyway. I'm coping. Oh, shoulders are still hurting. Back of my knees a lot bit sore. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going. Just come up to Devil's Point. Right in the middle of your picture there. That's where it's gonna be home for the night. A long lot of grew past the boulder field now, so a lot bit easier, but I've got no energy to run. So hiking it till I get there. Not a bad view. Cloudy over there. Looks a 
a bit more clear over there, which is great. So I've left Ramar, I'm 14 miles in, day three. I had some breakfast, but uh, appetite's really suppressed just now. I don't know what it is, but I really had to force myself to eat. I think I had about half, just couldn't eat anymore. Got another 28 miles to go. Currently walking, just warming my legs up after that stop. Another news. A bit concerning. Went to the toilet just before I put my pack on and the urine was kind of red, which of course is a worry. So I did what any normal person would do and that's Google it. And apparently it's quite common for people who are ultra runners or, or somebody who's done a marathon long distance. So I'm just gonna assume that that's what it is and it's nothing more lethal. But if it hasn't cleared by 72 hours, I should seek medical advice. All right, all right. Better start running. Day three. I'm uh, just outside Ballater and I'm just exhausted. Um, don't know what to say. Um, I mean, I never expected this to be easy. I didn't. And uh, I've had a look, a few flashes, where I've just gone and I've held it. But about three, four miles ago, I just kind of gave up. I was supposed to be going to a boy today, but I've opted for the net which is about four and a half miles before, which means tomorrow's run's gonna be even worse. Thing is, I'm trying to convince myself to do it. Saying, oh, you have to do it. You have to. You've come this far. But I'm absolutely shattered. And I'm not gonna lie. My pee being red, I don't know if that's down to dehydration and it's just like really dark yellow or if it is red with blood. Um, so obviously that's playing on my mind. But this bag is not helping. It's just banging every time in the back of me. Hit my kidneys, I guess, you know, and my shoulders. And it's not even the weight. It's just, it's just very uncomfortable. And I'm actually sick of drinking water. Drinking, drinking, drinking. I mean, if I'm dehydrated, why am I not thirsty? I mean, don't get me wrong, I am drinking. Fly. I'm definitely, definitely drinking. Anyway, I don't know. I think I've got about six miles to go. I'm definitely just going to walk them. But what I know is I should sit down, take five minutes, ten minutes, half an hour. I'm just so determined to get there though. The sooner I get there, the sooner I can rest. When people say it's tough, anything's tough. It's just words. It's just words until you, you're doing it yourself. You know, I'm not talking about just running and walking talking about anything in life and you say oh it's tough it's just a word and when people hear it I'll go oh yeah it's tough okay 
Well, I wouldn't do it. But the thing is, it's so stupid because it's temporary. It's not even for real. It's not for, it's just tough right now. You know, life, life can be tough. This isn't tough. This is just tired. Tired's not tough. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. But all I know is, right now it's tough. Really tough. But it's temporary. Okay, so quick update. Um, it was only what, 20 minutes since the last time I spoke to you. And uh, I had to go to the toilet and it's all clear, which is a weight off my mind, I'll tell you. It's gotta be a combination of this bag banging in the back of my kidneys or, or something. Definitely feeling much better. Only the, the legs are tired now which I can handle because after all I was expecting the legs to be sore hopefully tomorrow I can do it I can get it finished B-side way uh, I'm in the net with my legs and my bag got the better of me so I decided to call it a day here for today which means even extra miles for tomorrow so I'm not absolutely sure I'm going to be able to manage that 28 miles I managed and then it just got too much and I had to stop. I'm getting rid of that bag. Jane's coming to swap it out and I'll probably get a long lie tomorrow and then try again. I'm staying in a hotel, showers. Great. Day four, that's me leaving the net. I've got my new vest on. So hopefully I can make it. This is definitely been the most nervous I have been this whole trip. I don't know, I guess it was only an experiment. I just wanted to see how far I could go. And I was never putting myself under pressure about completing this. But as we're on to the last day now, I don't know, I just feel like I've I've put a lot of pressure on me now to finish it. Um physically I don't feel too bad. I've got a little bit of a sore hip. I feel a bit ill, sick that is. Um, food just still isn't appealing to me even though I know I'm hungry um, I had some in this morning just little and I had to force it down me um, next stop is a Boyne which is about four miles away maybe from here so what I'm doing is I'm just warming up first I'm just walking a little bit getting all the muscles going before I start So I'm just outside Dramoke, making good time. That's uh, 25 miles and thir 13 to go. Yeah, just over 13 to go. Just stopped, get some food down me, and uh, top up my, uh, my water. Maybe I don't have water. Well, it turns out I don't have any water. I do have some juice, so I guess that's something. Melt Timber's the next stop, just before. There's a petrol station. I'll get some water there. And this is my view. Thirty-eight miles in. Almost there. Literally, what about? Half a kilometer to go. Not even that. I can't wait. Surprisingly feel okay. Legs feel okay, the knees are a little bit sore, hips are a little bit sore, but considering what I've just used, not an issue like. Oh Aberdeen Beach. Never looks so beautiful. Jesus! Hey. <laughs> Thank you. I thought I'd be emotional. I'm not. I'm just glad. Glad it's over. It's done faster than I expected as well, which is great. A few lessons learned. Anyway, I'm not counting my chickens yet. 
I still haven't dipped my toe in the, in the water. The tide would have to be out, wouldn't it? Oh. Okay, Fort William to Aberdeen, complete in four days. That was really good, um, even though I didn't sound it on some of the videos. But firstly, I want to thank everyone who's messaged me, but congratulations. Um, slightly overwhelmed, to be honest with you, because I didn't really do this for any kind of praise, even though I did put it out there on social media, but that was probably more for me, so I'm accountable to do it. And it kind of worked, I suppose. Thankfully, I got rid of the bag. Um, uh, Jane came and swapped out with a running vest, which was just a godsend. I got a bit burnt today though, so um, yeah, I probably should have put some sun cream on. But anyway, thanks to Jane, uh, my brother-in-law Andy for cycling out um, when I was in Aviemore to give me a can of coke and some water, and Sophia for letting me use her shower when I was in Newton Moore, who's my niece. Uh, congratulations, she's also just got engaged. Anyway, that's it for me, uh, thanks to everyone, and I'd just like to point out that this was done for me, it's not really out there for any FKT or anything like that. Last weekend and this weekend, there was quite a few races on, and some extreme races, and some of the results that came through were just phenomenal. I'm quite happy with how it turned out, but that's not a race, that's just something I did for myself.